I'm going to not read the prompter right now. I'm actually going to go off of a paper I wrote and a letter to all of you out there. This is my final farewell. Um, three years ago, Brenda and Roger took a chance on me, and I had no anchoring experience whatsoever, but I had a dream of being a reporter in my hometown. And that quickly morphed into the dream of anchoring in my hometown. I covered smokestack demolitions. I've been on scene for fires and murders. I've shaken hands with governors. I've surprised World War II veterans turning 100 years old. I've cried with those who have lost loved ones. I've cheered as teachers are presented checks. And I've laughed with my co-anchors on the daily. I have lived out my dream, but I've also expounded on it. I've been given the opportunity to anchor and investigative report in Portland, Maine, someplace very far from my hometown of Wheeling, West Virginia. I'm not going to lie, I'm terrified. I'm afraid I'm not good enough. I'm afraid I'm making a big mistake. But if I listened to my fears, I would have never taken this chance three years ago, and I would have never been the anchor I am today. There's my dad right there. So firstly, I would like to thank you all for graciously letting me into your home every morning. Through my stumbles and my giggles, you have shaped me. My dad was a video videographer here at 7 News many years ago, so it was the coolest thing for me to anchor here and have my parents watch me at home every morning and text cr critique me when I mess up. Um, but as you see in this video, I got married this year, and you celebrated with me. He is from New England, and ever since I was a little girl, I had always had a desire to live in New England, so come the new year, we're packing the guinea pigs and cat, and we're heading to Maine. I've seen your goodbye messages, and they've made me cry. It makes me question if I want to go at all. But now, we must change, and we only have one life. And finally, when I came onto the shift, the director, Justin, who's in the back right now, gave me a tip. He said, Steph, smile. It's a morning show. And I think that's the best advice I received, because I think that's something we can all do today and every day. Smile. A bright day is ahead. So. And Stephanie, we have to give you another gift. Another gift? Goodness. Of course, you can, you can quickly open it. Go right in there. You can see, you can see what's right there. Ripping pool, ripping pool. Okay, so 679 oh, stories Ohio so Valley she has brought to you. And I'm pretty close on that, I believe. Wow. <laughs> and she's put those 679 stories on the web. And she did a very lovely story um, as Dr. Dave when he was retiring. She did a story and it just resonated with me. And I said, this girl has talent. She's got talent. And it says, oh, the places. And instead of you'll go, it says I'll go. <laughs> and so she can go and document all of the places that she'll go on her new stories in Portland, Maine. And then nice. this book is a keepsake because it's a little different than it just your normal. More. Oh, the places you'll go. Wow. <laughs> yes, I did that story with Dr. Dave, Oh, the Places You'll Go, and I had the book there, so I finally get my own book. Thank you, you do. for you that. Get your own book. So Goodness, sweet. everyone, why are you making me cry? <laughs> Stop it.